So what are some of the biggest challenges optometrists face? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you some of the current issues in optometry and strategies to overcome them. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Ryan Court, and this is Ryan Reflects. On this channel, I share with you actionable personal development content, as well as my thoughts on trending topics and life experiences. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Also, throughout any point in the video, make sure you check out the notes and links in the description below. Optometry is a wonderful profession, but it's not immune to challenges. As an advocate of the profession, I wanna be clear about some of the biggest issues optometry faces in the future. Here are the eight biggest challenges optometrists face. Number one, rising optometry school tuition costs. Optometry school tuition costs have gone up year over year over year. And honestly, optometry is not alone in this. That's higher education in general, particularly when it comes to graduate programs, medical programs. As a result, if you're considering to become an optometrist, I recommend that you go to a public in-state school. If you don't live in a state that has a public and state school. You could even relocate there, live there for a year or two, gain residency, and then apply. That will save you a lot of money. Also, I highly recommend that you apply for all the scholarships you possibly can and live like a student during optometry school, so very intelligently with your finances. Number two, declining or stagnant insurance reimbursements. Unfortunately, vision care reimbursements are low and they haven't gone up for years. Managed care is a challenge in itself. Navigating insurance claims and denials, all of these things in general are a pain point for any healthcare provider and optometrists are not excluded. To overcome this, I recommend that you look into specializing in one of the many different subspecialties within the profession. Personally, I'm a huge fan of specialty contact lenses and myopia control, but there are a lot of different ways that you can go ahead and make sure that you are diversified and you have a different source of revenue outside of just primary eye care. If the patient's chief complaint is medical and you have to provide medical eye care services to best serve them, bill medical for those services. And if you own your own practice, you can look into bringing different diagnostic equipment that provides an additional service and or having a really high-end optical to offset reimbursements. Number three, scope of practice. Optometry is a legislative profession, which presents benefits because we can increase scope over time, but also challenges because we aren't medical doctors. We aren't doctors of osteopathic medicine. So every advancement we have within our scope of practice needs to be done legislatively. Unfortunately though, our scope of practice can also be minimized with a stroke of a pen. To overcome this, I recommend that you do not give your services away for free. Make sure that you're practicing full scope optometry and get involved educating your patients, those in your community, those that are around you and are politically or legislatively influential. It really can help keep our scope of practice strong. And of course, make sure that you are supporting legislative optometry that includes the AOA and your state and local affiliates. Number four, you never know who will walk into your office. Personally, I really enjoy serving the general public. However, I learned that people can come in and they can be good, they can be bad, they can be downright ugly. One of the biggest challenges of serving the general public is you do not know what's going on in their world. Maybe they're having significant financial struggles or they just got in a car accident or they lost a family member or close friend. Where are they at mentally, physically, emotionally? You just don't know. Unfortunately, this can lead to challenges where they may be really disgruntled with your staff or challenging through the exam process or in general, maybe they leave a negative review outside of something that you just can't control and it hurts to, to go through those experiences with patients when you're doing your best to provide patient care. To overcome this, I strongly recommend controlling what you can throughout the entire exam process, being extra kind, killing them with kindness, particularly when somebody comes in and they have a really bad attitude or you can just tell they're having an off day. And if you have to, if they're continuing to be a struggle within the office, you can professionally let them know that they're no longer able to see care at your facility. Number five, retail confusion. The overwhelming majority of patients that come to your office are gonna come in to have their glasses prescription and or contact lens prescription updated. Optometry is tied to a huge retail component in the sale of glasses and contact lenses. Consumer marketing around glasses and contacts is confusing, particularly you see it everywhere, social media, online, driving on billboards, on the television. And a lot of people don't understand that not all glasses are created equal. 
or that not every contact lens brand and material is created equal. And even in some cases, eye care services are advertised as free with the purchase of glasses. To overcome this, I strongly recommend that you never give your eye care services away for free and stand behind the quality of the products and services that you provide. Number six, public perception. Since optometrists are not MDs or DOs, you will have people that will straight up look you in the eyes and be like, you're not a real doctor. And taking that a step further, there are a number of online vision exams available that a lot of people truly think that they're getting a complete eye exam during that process. So the perception and the understanding of optometry is all over the place. So of course, the best way to overcome this is to educate your patients, your friends, those in your community, legislators, educate, 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 support legislative optometry like the AOA and its state affiliates, never give your services away for free, practice full scope optometry. Number seven, competition is on the rise. Today's optometrist has a lot of competition. There are private practices and corporate practices all over the country. Venture capital groups are continuing to consume some of the biggest private practices, making it more and more challenging. And of course, the internet, right? And the competition from online. All this competition is not going away. So I strongly recommend today's optometrist to specialize in one of the many subspecialties within the profession. Get really, really good at your niche provide high quality eye care services, products if you can, and make sure that you're billing to the fullest extent when it's a medical diagnosis and it warrants from the chief complaint. Number eight, staffing. Hiring the right people for your eye care team has always been a challenge and an ongoing process, but since the pandemic, it's been brutally challenging. There are less qualified people in the workplace and they're expensive and that hourly rate's only going up. To best overcome this, I recommend that you take care of your staff that you currently have that is committed and loyal and dedicated to the practice. Put together a strong training and onboarding system as well as an engagement system. Make sure you guys get together and talk and communicate over time, whether it's outside the practice, inside the practice, having morning meetings. And of course, refining your hiring process each and every hire. Every profession, every career path, everybody's journey has challenges, but it's how you respond to these challenges that has the biggest impact. What questions do you have about the challenges that are currently facing the profession of optometry? Let me know in the comments below and stay tuned for my next video. Where we can reflect and grow stronger together.